Helping Baby Robin, directed by Chloe Hooper. Everyone loves spring, grown-ups and children alike. But no one looks forward to it as much as the little animals and insects. In Pusket lived many animals and insects. Among them, a little group who were always seen together. They were such good friends that they built their houses close to each other. That way, they could easily help out if, one of, if any one of them needed anything. Snail lived under the weeds, well shaded by the leaves. Bee was always busy flying from one flower to the next. Lizard ripped them off the mosquitoes, which were her favorite dish. And there, were, there was beautiful butterfly, who brightened up everywhere with his lovely colors. Spider built beautiful lacy webs. You could only see them if you look clo looked closely enough. And what about Ladybird? She was a name bird too, and she loved eating tiny insects. Close by in the pond lived Fat Frog. Hedgehog did not live so close, and the sna and Snail was very happy about that. You see, hedgehogs love to eat snails, and he didn't want to live in Hedgehog's tummy. Even though all the animals got on well together, they had a leader. This was Brown Owl, who was old and wise. One day, while everyone was busy doing their work, Bee saw something unusual amongst the flowers. She was startled when she saw the flowers move and shake, even though there wasn't even a breeze. Very, very slowly, B moved closer and closer, and she gasped in surprise at what she at what she saw. A baby robin had fallen out of his nest. Help me! Please help me! cried little robin as he flapped his wing, weak wings, and wiggled on the ground. He slipped closer to the edge of the pond. A little more fluttering and he would fall into the water. Then no one could save him. Try not to move, said Bee. I will go find some help. She flew around the pond looking for Fat Frog. But she could not see him anywhere. When she had almost given up, she glimpsed him hopping onto a rock. And she called him. so excited, croaked Fat Frog. What happened? Come with me to the edge of the pond. Little Robin has fallen out of his nest. And if you won't help me, he will soon fall into the water and drown. But be all worried. Fat Frog leaped into the water and swam to the spot, to the spot he had told him about. Very gently, she pushed the little robin safely away from the edge. Poor little robin, said Bee. Wait for me here. I will try to find your mom. I am sure I can find some help. And away she flew, leaving little robin patiently, patiently waiting for her near the pond. B was sure her friends would think of a way to find Mummy Robin. She was looking for her when she came across Snail, and soon, and she soon related what had happened to Little Robin. Oh dear! said Snail. I really wish to help you, but I am so small. What can I do to help? I don't really know how you can help right now. But if you go near him, you can keep him company. At least you won't feel lonely, said B. So very slowly, Snail crawled towards little Robin, who was still crying softly. 
As we flew away, she soon met Lizard. She called her and told her about Little Robin's plight. I really wish to help, said Lizard, but what can I do? If you wish, you can go and sit beside him and make sure he's all right, said Bee, and off she flew again. Soon she came across Ladybird sitting on her favorite flower. So she flew down next to her and related all that happened to her earlier. I would, re I would really love to help, said Ladybird, but how can I do that? You know how to relate such lovely stories. If you feel like, you can go near little Robin and tell him some stories. It will take it will take his mind off his worries, said Bee. It didn't take Bee long to meet Spider, who was very close by. After she heard about what happened to little Robin, she said, I would really love to help. What can I do? You, you made very strong webs. If you are not too tra tired, you could go near little Robin and spin a web close to him to protect him from danger. Be answered. Hedgehog, who was quite near to, heard all that they said. And he called out, B, can I help you in any way? Every bit of help counts, replied B. She remembered that Snail was already on his way and how afraid he was of Hedgehog. So she said, you can try and find Robin's mum. If you do, tell her that her little one is waiting for her near Fat Frog's pond. B flew on and she was so distracted, she flew straight into Butterfly. They bumped so hard that they fell on to the ground, but luckily no one was hurt. How distracted you are this morning, B, said Butterfly. B explained what had happened that morning. Butterfly was very proud of himself because he knew how beautiful he looked. So he offered to go near little Robin and cheer him up with his lovely colours. In the meantime, Brown Owl, who had observed everything, went to look for Mummy Robin herself. It did not take her long to find her and she showed her the way to the edge of Fat Frog's Pond. Mummy Robin was amazed to see all those animals and insects looking after her little Robin. Thank you so much, she said. I never thought I would find him alive. How lovely it is when everyone gets on well together and helps each other. That way, everything gets done better and everyone is happy. Brown Owl, being old and wise, said nothing, but she was very proud of them all. The End